Morning, folks. Milk Buddy back with y'all again today. Uh, forgive my workbench behind me. I've been straightening up the shop, reorganizing stuff. This is just where things got cluttered up at. I got to clean this off and the rest of the shop be clean. So forgive that. Anyway, uh, everybody's talking about the projects that we do. Uh, the lasers, woodworking, this, this, and this. And they're like, we just want something simple we can make. So I have got one of the most simplest projects you can ever do. And most of y'all have this stuff right there inside your house already. Um, something very simple for you to do at Christmas, the holidays, any time of the year. But um, show you what you need real quick. Simple little bowls like you get at Walmart, uh, Dollar General, whatever. These are little small styrofoam bowls. Make sure they're styrofoam, not paper. Explain that just a little bit. Next thing is just regular Elmer's School Super Glue. You can get the big bottles of it, according to how many of these things you want to make. <clears throat> but you can get like the big bottles, small bottle, whatever. This was all they had at the store whenever I picked this up. So I just got a small bottle. It doesn't take much. Um, I couldn't remember. This is something I done back in elementary school. That's how simple this project is. But I couldn't remember if the Sharpies work better or if the the uh, the dry erase. I couldn't remember which one did a better job. So I went ahead the other day and I made a couple of things. Actually, Jerrica did. Uh, she drew out a couple of little small, very simple designs. And... Uh, <clears throat> we hadn't done those. This one is with the dry erase. It's a little, if you can see it, like a little flower in there. And I'll show you more about that in a second. And the other one was with the uh, permanent markers. And it's just going to be a little B or whatever. Yeah, it says a, a B and it says B sweep. So anyway, she done those. But what it is, is we made these back in elementary school. <clears throat> we actually used like the big styrofoam plates. And we just drew our little design and all this stuff in there. The teacher pours in the glue, and it takes about a week. It's according to how much glue you actually use. It takes around about a week for it to dry. So uh, this one here has been setting up for almost two. I've got busy on other projects, but it's that completely dry now, so we'll take it out in a minute. But what it does is the glue uh, will take the ink out of the bowl. There's still some be some ink in there. But let's take the ink out of the bowl and transfer your picture to the glue. And then once you peel it out, whatever size you have, which I thought well, I like using the small bowls because you just have the little, you know, small damper right here. But those are just perfect for like Christmas ornaments and stuff. So your kids can draw their favorite picture, whatever they want to draw for you. Uh, and you can just have this thing set in glue for forever. Because like I said, glue hardly ever deteriorates. I'm sure as long as you keep it dry. Um, but like I said, they can draw you something put it in the bowl, set it up somewhere, or put glue in it, set it up somewhere for a week or so, and then half the moment you peel it out, the picture will be inside it. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, make a couple of these real fast, and then I will actually peel those out and show you what we've actually already done. So any color you wanna do, Sharpie or whatever. Um, actually, I think the dry erase was the better one. So I'm gonna use those. Um, I've got a pack, cheap dollar, Dollar General dry erase markers, give them at Walmart, wherever else. I think it's like two bucks for a pack of six of them. And you got all the colors, like I said, black, blue, green, purple, orange, and red. That should be plenty enough for you to do whatever. Um, for this deal, I'm not gonna go a bunch of colors. I'm just gonna do a quick deal, but take your little bowl. Um, you might be able to see through that little thing. I'm just gonna draw a simple crooked <laughs> smiley face. It's all crooked, guys. Um, not very, not good at drawing. A simple little smiley face. What you're going to do after that is, I mean, this is the easiest I told you. Take your glue and literally just, it's probably easier if you just pour it. We'll say in this situation, it takes a while to come out the little thing. So just pour a little bit of glue in there. It doesn't take a whole lot, like I said. The more you pour in there, the I'm just going to take the dry, but uh, just pour that little bit of glue in there. Hold these back up, that stuff will dry out. <clears throat> As you see it, not much in there. I'm just going to work it around until it kind of covers the whole bottom of it. Let me do this right here so I can actually see because I'll pour it all on the floor. Be all over my sander and all that. Well, like I said, just work it around until it covers the bottom of the bowl. You're going to set the bowl somewhere flat, 
uh, out of the way, top of the refrigerator, or something like that. You'll forget about it. The kids forget about it for a little while. Make it easier for you. Uh, the two that we said that we made is the V, and it's with the permanent marker. So I'm going to peel it out real quick and just see what it actually, if I can get it started. If you use paper, this will stick to the paper. So this one did not do so great. Um, it actually did make, I mean, you can see it in there, the back and the front. It did leave a lot of the ink inside the bowl. So, but you get the idea. Put your little hole in this right here. You can hang it up on a tree. Like I said, that's about four inches around, I guess. You can hang it on a tree and put it in the box the rest of the ornaments and it'll be there for life. So, um, that was the permanent. Now let's try the dry erase. If I can get it out. Well, that one seemed to work a lot better. All right, so we know which one actually works better now. The dry erase. On it. Um, there's the picture. As you can see, the front and the back. There's the front picture. There's the bowl. It pulled all the ink out of it. So um, I would recommend that is dry erase for sure. Recommend using the dry erase. I knew it was one or the other. I couldn't remember which one exactly, but the dry erase does work better. And like I said, and there's your image that you can uh, you get up close. There's just something very simple. But like I said, you can get as uh, as talented as you can get and draw whatever you want, whatever colors, whatever else. That's how it comes out. So uh, there's a simple and quick project <clears throat> that you can do. There's no excuses saying you can't do this, can't do this. Look, all you need, simple bowls. You can use the plates, give the kids a little more room to, to draw with it. Uh, you can actually cut these down a little bit, just leave you, you know, about a half inch to, you know, three quarters, something like that, a little enough that way you can hold the glue. But, uh, if they have a problem getting a little hands off in here to draw and everything, just cut it off. That way you have a shorter bowl. Same thing. Let them draw all they want to in it. When they get done, just put glue in it, set it up somewhere. But you need a glue, uh, the bowl, glue, regular. As you don't see, regular, just cheap. Elmer's or any kind of a school glue. doesn't matter. Just a white glue. Uh, I don't think the one that dries clear. I hadn't tried that one. You might try that one. Let me know what happens. I said, but you end up using those and then simple, use a little cheap dry erase. Uh, this is literally a no name brand. It's just when we picked up Dollar General and I decided I was gonna try this little project. So there you go, folks. Um, I know it's something simple, it may seem stupid, but I just wanna put a quick video about this right here. Uh, I just I honestly did this a few weeks ago and just forgot I even had them in there. I, thought, I told you to just forget about them. But uh, here's a little Christmas project you can do or just during the week or um, during the rest of the year. So uh, y'all have a good day. If you hadn't yet, please like, subscribe. Uh, I promise the videos will be better. Uh, I'm doing a lot more laser stuff. I'll be out here in the shop doing more woodworking. Um, so hopefully I can get all that. I've been modifying the shop, modifying the laser room. We got a new laser. Um, I'll try to put all that in the video later. So now we have three. Yeah, three lasers, two pretty good size and one small. So uh, we can get some projects done now. Like I said, like, subscribe if you hadn't already. Thank y'all for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.